For the first time in five years, the Drury Lady Panthers have advanced to the Elite Eight. Drury survived a knockdown, drag out physical battle with Grand Valley State last night. The Lady Panthers shot 22% in the first half, trailed the Lakers by three at the half, but Drury would storm back in the third quarter, ending the frame on an 8 nothing run sparked by a couple of big Lauren Holmes baskets. The Lady Panthers went on to win 51-44. Drury now advances to the Elite Eight, which will be played next week in Columbus, Ohio. After the fight, the Lady Panthers are the only women's team left in D2 with a perfect 34-0 record. Her nose is bleeding. <laughs> Haley's getting blood off of her. Um, Deja's getting taped eye. up for blood. Lou has a black eye. Paige can't see out of one eye. This team, they're so special. I mean, I can't tell you enough. And, and think about this, I mean, the, the pressure, the pressure that comes with being undefeated, the pressure with trying to get a Sweet 16 monkey off your back. I mean, these kids, look how they handled that. So what's next for the Drury Lady Panthers? The team will play in Columbus, Ohio at the Elite Eight. Molly Miller doesn't know the time or the opponent yet because the NCAA is going to reseed the teams after Angelo State plays Lubbock Christian tonight. We do know it's going to be Tuesday in Columbus, Ohio.